Hey guys, it's Rachel here. As you can see, we are in my kitchen. I haven't done a cooking vlog in so long, but um, in wanting to get this started for you guys, I thought I would go ahead and um, do one. So today I'm going to be teaching you how to make some very protein packed pancakes. Um, this recipe is going to be for P3 only, unfortunately, if you're in P2, I'm really sorry, and don't hate me because I'm putting this up while you're on P2, but I'm um, just favorite it and save it for when you're in P3 because these are really good. Um, now I am going to be trying something different that I've never done before, and that is putting a protein powder in it. Um, in Maria Amrich's uh, cookbook, she adds a lot of um, whey protein or just, you know, unflavored protein to a lot of her recipes to up the protein count in it so I thought well why not try it so um, let's get started and I'll show you what I will be doing <clears throat> okay so you're gonna need a mixing bowl this is just a small one because it doesn't make a lot of batter it just makes I mean it won't be a whole lot um, first thing you're gonna want to do is you're gonna want to have some flaxseed meal um, you can use I've used both I've used the regular flaxseed meal this is the golden flaxseed meal um, I'll show you the other one. This is just the normal flax seeds, and they're kind of brown, so it makes your pancakes look kind of like weedy if you use the brown ones. And really, there's no difference, it's just color. So, <laughs> if you want your pancakes to look light and fluffy, then you can use the golden, but like I said, it doesn't really matter. So, um, and I'm going to take this is a third of a cup of golden flax seed meal. We're going to put that right in our dish. And then um, what I have here kind of mixed up for you guys because um, the recipe, I originally got this from Catherine Mama Kato. She's the one that came up with it first and I kind of adapted it to myself. She said she used three eggs in it and um, that's fine if you want to do that. It's just that it, it makes it have a lot of calories if you use that many eggs. And I kind of like to have like scrambled eggs too, so I use my two eggs for something else. Um, so what I did was I put one egg and then I put two servings of um, just like this egg beaters, which is a half a cup, and I just beat that together so that it is uh, nice and mixed up. And then we're going to add that to the bowl and get that in there. Yay! Okay. Next. We are going to be adding in, um, I don't have any like vanilla extract, so um, I just used, well I mean the protein powder I'm going to use is vanilla, so I'm not going to use vanilla extract. If you're not going to use a protein powder, you can put a little bit of vanilla extract in it for some flavor, but I'm not going to do that. Um, just a little bit of cinnamon, you don't really have to measure this, I'm going to do probably like I don't know, maybe a teaspoon. That might even be too much. Let's do a half a teaspoon because I don't want these to be like too cinnamony for me. We just want that kind of like accent of cinnamon flavor. So we'll add that right in. Okay. And then next we're going to need half a teaspoon of baking powder, not baking soda. There is a difference, folks. Baking powder white can, clabber girl, super cheap at Walmart, like $1.30. Okay. Half a teaspoon of that. Right into the bowl. And what that's going to do is that's going to help your uh, pancakes be fluffy when they cook. Okay. Then we're going to do just a little, a tiny, tiny bit of salt because that's going to help bring out the sweet flavor. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of salt in there. And then we are going to do one packet of stevia, and I use the, oops, that's upside down, sorry, trivia. One packet of that. Yay. And then the protein powder that I'm going to use, and this is the one Maria Emmerich uses, the uh, J-Rob protein. But this is the J-Rob whey protein shake. Um, like I said, it's vanilla flavor. This scoop is freaking enormous. Look at this scoop. But, um... It's like got up in my face. We're gonna do one scoop of this right in there. And if you 
you don't use the protein powder, then you may want to add a little bit more flaxseed meal because um, you don't want your batter to be too runny. I mean, you you know how a pancake batter looks, so I'm not going to teach you guys something that you already know, obviously. But that's why I didn't use as much flaxseed as I normally would have. I probably would have used, if I was just using flaxseed, probably about half a cup. Um, but since I was going to use the protein powder, I went ahead and just did a third. Okay, so that's what you got. Looks kind of like a pancake batter, right? Yeah? So we're going to let that sit for a minute, and I'm going to direct you guys to the griddle. Um, you can use a pan. That is perfectly fine. And I have got this set on... Um, between 300 and 350 because it has like a like a temperature setting but really you want it to be between medium and medium well and the way to know if your um, your heating surface is ready to be used is you take some water and when you splash it on the top of it the water should skitter around and I don't know if you guys can see that but that's what it's doing it looks like it's kind of dancing around that means it's ready so um, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it this is just non-stick spray that's butter flavored just so that nothing gets to stick in. And the reason that I want to use a griddle is so that I can cook everything at one time. Um, so, what I'm going to do is using a quarter cup to scoop it out. Um, I think I ought to be able to get maybe three medium-sized pancakes. And also, you know, typically pancake batters, and this one usually I guess because I it's got so much liquid eggs in it um, it's spread out pretty good um, under normal circumstances this batter kind of tends to not do that and so you kind of have to help it out and spread it around but this one did pretty good so no need for that actually I might be able to make four pancakes so we're going to spread those out and I have enough for one more and like I said these are usually a lot thicker when I cook them so I'll have to save that and make an extra one but um, hopefully you guys know how to cook a pancake. It's really not too terribly difficult. And similarly to when you have a pancake batter, you're going to want to be looking for the bubbles. Um, when bubbles start to form and pop, that's when you know that it's um, time to flip it. And as you can see, see I've got some bubbles. I don't know if you can see these guys. It might be kind of hard. But um, that's what we're looking for. So... And, you know, if your griddle is, you know, or your skillet or whatever is hot enough, then, you know, this shouldn't take too long, especially if they kind of move around like these did. See, like, those are already setting up on the bottom, so it shouldn't take too very long. You just want kind of a golden brown color. And these are really yummy. What I'm going to do, because it's nighttime right now, um, I'm going to make these and then I'm going to save them, and then I'm going to warm them up in the morning so I don't have to, like do all this in the morning because I don't like to wake up early. I like to <laughs> wake up late and then um, take my sweet time. But uh, so let's give this guy a flip. See, it's like a, a pretty golden brown color. And um, uh oh, that guy kind of went off the edge a little bit. And I can smell the cinnamon in these and it smells really good. I have a feeling these are going to be kind of sweet, but just the smell I'm eating right now, it smells more like a kind of a cakey pancake than anything. But I'm going to let those finish cooking and I'm going to cook the last one. But to talk a little bit about what you can put on top of it, um, you know, a lot of people like syrup and a lot of brands make a good sugar-free syrup. Um, what I have is I have this Walden Farms syrup and it's actually really, really good. Um, they sweeten their products with Splenda. If you're against Splenda, then you probably won't like it. But um, it's very yummy. Um, you can also put a little bit of butter. You can also cut up some fresh fruit. Um, Walden Farms also has a chocolate syrup. Since these are kind of sweet, it might almost be like a cake to eat it. But um, put some of that chocolate syrup on it too. But uh, you know, it's completely up to you guys. You could also put maybe like peanut butter on it. it would probably be good. But um, you know, like I said, this really didn't take long. The preparation doesn't really take long. And um, like I said, these are super good for you. I figured out. Um, but the way I did it with the egg substitute instead of the eggs, um, there is a total in the whole batter of 393 calories, a whopping 40 grams of protein, and only 9.5 grams of fat. 
So, I mean, you could eat this whole batter of pancakes and really not feel guilty about it. And it's, it fills you up. Um, you know, normally, like I said, the, I make, like, two just really huge pancakes, and then I eat them uh, maybe with, like, a scrambled egg, and it fills me up really, really well. Very hearty. Very, very good for you. So, um, I hope you guys, if you're in P3, I hope you try this. Um, if you're in P2, I hope that you save this recipe and try it when you do get into P3 um, because it is really great. And um, I'm going to go ahead and take these off. So thank you guys very much for watching and um, happy cooking. And if you try this out, please let me know and see. There are your pancakes. Don't they look gorgeous? All right, guys. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye.